It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. Investigation is ongoing regarding a fire that broke out in a candle factory in Barangay Bantod, La Paz, Iloilo City around 6.30 p.m. on Monday. The factory is located inside the St. Clement's Church compound. Initial investigation by the Bureau of Fire Protection point to an electrical short circuit as one probable cause. According to BFP arson investigator, Fire Officer 2 Ronald Agot, the building was totally damaged. The estimated worth of damage is said to be more than 900,000 pesos. Around 40,000 Novena candles were lost in the fire, according to the members of the Our Mother of Perpetual Health group who occupy the building. The municipal ordinance creating the African Swine Fever Task Force in Pavia, Iloilo was declared legal and valid by the Sangguniang Panalawigan. The ordinance, authored by Sangguniang Bayan member Daniel Espajardo II, was approved by the SP in its 112 regular session on October 19. The ordinance enforces control measures preventing the entry and spread of ASF in the municipality. The ordinance will establish checkpoints in all borders of Pavia connecting to other local government units as well as the following. ASF is a highly contagious hemorrhagic viral disease of domestic and wild pigs. No vaccine is currently available to treat ASF. So far, Western Visayas remains safe from the disease despite its detection in Eastern Visayas. All 220 drug-affected barangays in the province of Aklan are now cleared, according to the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency in Region 6. This is out of 327 barangays in the province. However, the DEA 6 spokesperson Shay Tanalion said these will still be subject to monitoring to ensure there are no new drug pushers or users. For a barangay to be called drug-free, all drug surrenderers must undergo rehabilitation. Currently, Bacolod City and Negros Occidental had the least number of drug-cleared barangays with 21.31% and 38.42% respectively. Tanalion said the low turnout for Bacolod and Negros Occidental is due to delays in their rehabilitation and reformation for drug surrenderers. Padilla 6 Director Alex Tablate admitted these areas are still the main sources of illegal drugs and said that he would put more focus on them. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elisha Lusaria Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website www.paninews.net Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Panay News on Press Reader. Read Panay News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.